Evidence of coordination or collusion with Russia, but stopping short of clearing the president of obstruction of justice. Special counsel Robert Mueller's report has been filed, and as ABC's Mona Kosar Abdi reports, the president says it's exoneration for him, while congressional Democrats say this raises more questions and they need answers. An elated President Trump making his way back to the White House. I just want to tell you that America is the greatest place on earth. The president relishing in Robert Mueller's conclusion to the 22 month long investigation that there was no collusion between him or his campaign and Russia in the 2016 election interference. This morning, Trump's lawyer tells ABC News they are ready to move past the probe. And what I'd like to see the Congress do and is work with the president for the next two years and get some things done for the American people. Yet Attorney General William Barr, who issued a four-page summary of the report, included a line from Mueller stating he could not exonerate the president of possible obstruction of justice. Barr drew his own conclusion, saying there isn't enough evidence to prove that. But Democrats are already grabbing onto Mueller's inconclusive language. We will ask the Attorney General to testify before the House Judiciary Committee. We will demand the release of the full report. Even calling into question Barr's impartiality. I would, in fact, wonder if the Attorney General pressured the special counsel into not making that finding so that he could make the finding. Meanwhile, the president is looking to turn the tables, threatening to investigate the investigation. It began illegally, and hopefully somebody's going to look at the other side. This was an illegal takedown that failed. Barr's conclusion that there was no obstruction rekindled concerns that Democrats had about a 19-page memo he wrote before President Trump appointed him. In it, he opposed the obstruction investigation, calling the allegations fatally misconceived. The special counsel's office declined to comment on Barr's letter. Monaco Sarabdi, ABC News, Washington.